हेलो फ्रेंड्स हैप्पी डे टू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी सी प्रोग्रामिंग थियोरी व्हिच इज बेस फॉर ऑल द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस लाइक सी प्लस प्लस जावा एंड व्हाट एवर यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दैट इज दैट इज इफ यू हैव द बेस ऑफ दिस सी प्रोग्रामिंग देन यू कैन बिल्ड ऑल अदर लैंग्वेजेस ऑन योर ओन ओके सो लेट्स सी इट्स अ वेरी वेरी इजी एंड सिंपल वन एंड आई विल टेल यू एज मच एज पॉसिबल इन अ मिनिमाइज्ड एंड इजी वे इन दिस यस लेट्स बिगिन so before uh, c programming theory we are going to see the just some introduction of c so c program is also called as in general purpose language so c programming language is, is also called as in general purpose language general purpose language means it is applicable for uh, all the languages or all the application domains okay so it is uh, called as in general purpose languages it is developed in 1972 by dennis ridge at bell laboratories c is also called as a most uh, widely used language and it's also called as a procedural computerial language procedural computer language means they are using some set of procedure that is you have some structure which have some procedure right the, uh, the first one is a declaration part and the next one is a main and uh, so function declaration function definition so some uh, some procedure is there so it's called as a procedural computer language and c was invented to write an operating system called unix using c we can write an operating system called an unix so unix is a operating system where operating system is a what operating system is a mainly interaction between the user and the computer hardware right so we can write the os also using the c programming language so you see how such a powerful language is this and c is also called as a successor of b language or bcpl language which was introduced around the early 1970s so in 1970s they invented some b and uh, bell labra bell laboratories they invented bcpl and b languages so after that only the successor of this b languages is called as c language the language was formalized in 1988 by the american standard national institute so that is called as an ansi so that's why they are called as an ansi c american national standard institute okay so these are all the uh, this is the brief introduction to so c is a general purpose language which is common to all the domains and c is developed at bell laboratories in 1972 by the dennis ritchie and using this language we can also create the operating system called unix and c is also called as a successor of b language and this language is formalized in 1988 by the ansi okay ansi means american national standard institute yes so now you just do some recap let's we go to the next one that is applications of c so where it is used okay so that is called as an applications of c so using c programming language what are the things i can do so i can develop a operating system called unix right so so many operating systems we can written using the c language and using the c language also we can develop the compilers and assemblers text editors so text editors means like notepad you can create like a notepad using a c language you can create some assembler you can create a language compilers translators using the c programming language and using this also we can create spoolers so what is spoolers spoolers is a a uh, special software which is used to create a queue so if uh, if from 10 system there is a print is given there is there are three systems okay from the three system print is given so what happen this spooler spooler will do all the jobs collected and placed in a queue and it is executed one by one so that is the purpose of spooler right so that no uh, printer will be jammed or uh, cross each other right so spooler is a software which is used to do uh, all the printing jobs place in a queue and it will be given to the printer one by one okay so these kind of small small softwares can be developed using c language and it is also used in modern programs okay using this we can develop modern programs and we can implement within a database and we can create language interpreters what is interpreters and compilers interpreters of Uh, executed line one by one and whereas compilers the whole program is translated and executed 
okay the whatever the inter interpreter means it will execute one by one wherever in a first line if there is an error means it will stop the execution but whereas compiler will if, if there are 10 lines in a program all the 10 line programs will be executed and it will point out all the errors okay it will check whole the whole program compilers are checking the whole program whereas interpreters are checking line by line so that is the only difference between these two translators so interpreters and compiler interpreters are checking line by line whereas compilers are translating uh, the whole programs and utilities so utilities means you are creating one one common utility for example if i am doing a right click or uh, if I am clicking something in a file menu, in a Word document, you are going and clicking the file. So, the some menu will be displayed for you, right? So, a menu, that menu will be, is also if you are clicking a right click. So, wherever you are right clicking, that particular menu, okay, that pop-up menu has to appear. So, uh, that is called utility. This utility can be applied anywhere, wherever I want. Okay, see for example in a file menu, if you go and click the file menu, which is common for, uh, mostly common for all the applications like uh, if you are clicking the file menu, new, open, save, save as, exit. So these options are available same in the Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint. So in most of, uh, most of call calculator. So I am creating a small program uh, for particular function and then I am using that uh, particular so, uh, thing uh, in in various places. So that is called as an utilities and network drivers. So this is no these kind of programs and all created using the applications of C operating system. We can create the language of compilers, language of interpreters, assemblers, text editors, printers, poolers and modern programs databases and utilities and network drives drivers